please completely read and understand the Onefinity CNC Quick Change Wasteboard User's Manual before attempting to assemble. On page 27 of the Quick Change Wasteboard Manual, we find a diagram for cutting our slats. This diagram shows us how to cut the maximum number of slats out of a 4x4 sheet while minimizing waste. If you don't want to cut the slats yourself or you don't have a table saw, you can always have it done at your local big box store such as Home Depot or Lowe's. Welcome to the Onefinity CNC Secure From Above Quick Change Wasteboard Frame video. To get started, here's what we'll need. Our template, a hammer, a roll of blue painter's tape, a half inch Forstner bit, a quarter inch drill bit, a sixteenth inch drill bit, and a drill. The first thing we're going to do is take our template out of the baggie it comes in and we're going to unfold it and lay it across our first MDF slat. You'll notice that this template lines up perfectly with the larger sized slats. Once we've got our template in place, we're going to use a little bit of blue tape to hold it down so that it doesn't shift while we are punching the holes. With our template in place, we can now take our half inch or 5 eighths Forstner bit and our hammer and using the very tip of the bit, we can line it up with the center of the holes on the template and just punch a small hole to mark where we will drill. Once we've marked where we're going to drill, we can now remove our template and we're going to save that template and use it on the other slats as well. The last thing we need to do before drilling our holes is measure out 3 eighths of an inch and mark that. Once we've got that marked, I'm going to add a little bit of tape just so that I have a visual representation of where 3 eighths of an inch is while I'm drilling. Now we're just going to go back to where we punched our holes and we're going to drill down 3 eighths of an inch. Once we've drilled 3 eighths of an inch down with our Forstner bit, we're going to go back with our 1 16th inch bit and we're going to drill all the way through the center of that hole through the MDF. Here you see I'm using some pieces of scrap MDF to elevate the board off of the table, but you could also hang it over the edge as well. Here we're using our 16th inch drill bit and like I said we are going straight through the center of our holes all the way through the board. With our 16th inch holes drilled all the way through our board, we can flip it over and we're going to switch over to a quarter inch bit. With our quarter inch bit in the chuck, we're going to find the back of the holes we drilled through and we're going to expand that hole so we have room for our bolt to fit all the way through. We will repeat this process two more times to create the other two larger slats. Next we'll be drilling our holes into the two widest slats that also happen to be about half the size as the others and only have one row of bolts. Now we'll line up the top edge of our template just like we did with the first slat and we'll use blue tape method again to secure it in place. With our template in place, we'll go through with our Forstner bit and we will mark where we're going to drill our holes out once again. Once again, we have our holes marked, so we're going to remove our template and set it aside for use later. Now it's time to go back and locate where we marked for our holes. We're going to switch back to our Forstner bit 
and we're going to drill down 3 eighths of an inch. After that, we're going to do a quick switch back to our 1 16th inch bit, and we are going to drill through the center of our countersunk holes. After drilling through with our 16th inch bit, we're going to flip it over, switch back to our quarter inch bit, and we're going to drill the hole for our bolt to pass through the board. We'll repeat this exact process one more time for the slat on the opposite end of the quick change waste board frame. Now that we have our holes drilled in our slats, we can install them to the waste board frame. After slatting the slat into place, we'll use the provided bolts and washers to secure the slat to the frame. We're also going to need a 1 8 inch hex key for this part of assembly. Now all that's left for us to do is to secure the slats to the wasteboard frame itself. This concludes the Onefinity CNC Secure From Above Quick Change Waste Board Slat Installation video.